Manifestation is about becoming your true self. My name is Mr. 2020. You are listening to the Power of Imagination podcast. My friend Heather shared that today in a post on Facebook. And I like it. From what I can tell, this whole manifesting thing, this whole imagination thing is about revealing the real you. I often use the phrase, God having the adventure of a lifetime. You are how God is having the adventure of a lifetime. You are God having the adventure of a lifetime. And life being an adventure invites desires. It invites dance with desires. When I was 23 years old, I had a near-death experience. In other words, I got the poop kicked out of me. Died. Came back to life, all that good stuff. Had the typical NDE experiences. And the thing that has puzzled me ever since has been this. The amount of people who never live. Me included. I barely live up to my potential. (laughs) I'm always playing with possibility more and more every day and inviting you to. And what's life if, if you're not playing with possibility, you are settling for probability. And you're probably not finding all that satisfaction. You're probably not finding satisfaction much of anywhere if you're settling for probability. But the world of possibility, it's like Disneyland every day. I can't help but sit here and listen to these critters sing forth the sun. My Native American mentors taught that the songbird sings a song of thanksgiving that lifts the sun up into the sky. It's not light here yet, but there's a little bit of lightness in the sky. In other words, the songbirds are singing their, come on, we made it. Hoo-ha, thank you, here it comes, it's going to be a glorious day. They survived the night, and they get to explore the day. Neville Goddard says, we give ourselves the furnaces of affliction. And we do. Because they invite you to explore the real you. Who here hasn't had a setback? A stumble. Who here hasn't stubbed their toe? Grandpa used to say, do you know the purpose of your left pinky toe? I said, no, sir. Because I knew it was coming. So the purpose of your left pinky toe is to tell you where the corner of the furniture is. I got it. <laughs> Happens all the time. Well, not all the time, but once in a while, doesn't it? See, we talk about risk. And a lot of people, they avoid risk. They avoid spending $7, $97. They avoid trying something new. Like item number seven. In Dream Driven Day, one of the fun things we do is we make a suggestion. Go out to lunch to someplace you haven't been and order item number seven. Double fun if you order item number 14 or triple fun if you order number 21 too. In other words, fly blind just for fun because we all know people who agonize over what they're going to order from the same place they always go to and they order always order the same thing and they agonize about it and I don't think you came here to have agon eyes I think you came here to realize the truth about you that sets you free my name is Mr. 2020 Heather I want to thank you for the quote that I stole from your post And, uh, I am so fortunate to have surrounded myself with such lovely people. That's what I got. Dive deeper, soar higher. Let's imagine up something lovely now as we enjoy the bird song and go into the silence.
who you are being determines what you are seeing and how you're seeing it. I'm a massive fan of IdentityBasedManifesting.com and I invite you to go get IdentityBasedManifesting.com. Think about it. Your identity determines what you do and how you do it and when you do it. And a lot of people, they don't have an identity that enables them to have a lot of fun doing what they do. And they know how life is probably going to go. I invite you to engage possibility today with Identity Based Manifesting. My name is Mr. 2020. You are listening to the Power of Imagination podcast. If this gives to you, feel free to share it. Caring is sharing. And we care enough to share what moved me around the world, what cured me of some bullshit, way more than once, physical things, mental things. And I just want you to live instead of settling for a near-life experience. Let's go all out, shall we? Have a great day. Dive deeper, soar higher. See ya.